You know, I love to fish. I, I like catching any kind of fish that'll bite. And I've caught a lot of crappie over the years. And this time of year, I've really done well, but I've always fished minnows. And I got to a lake the other day. It, it's a great crappie lake, Choke Canyon down in South Texas. It's, I mean, I heard it was really, really good. And I get there and there's no minnows. Well, what do I do? I mean, I'm like, well, I have one of my kids' tackle boxes. I want to show it to you. I mean, it's really pretty pathetic. Um, this, this is my kids back when they were, you know, five to 10 years old. And I had put some Strike King crappie baits in there. All I'm talking about is little tubes and a lead head. And I want to show you what I did because, I mean, when you start talking about crappie jigs, crappie jigs to me feels fairly intimidating. But all I did was is, I mean, like I'm in a, I'm in a bind here. I'm supposed to go down there and catch a bunch of crappie. My brother and I wanted to put a bunch in the freezer. And I got no way to catch them with minnows. I didn't have a cast net. I, didn't, I, was, I was thinking we were going to go to the store and buy minnows. Well, they didn't have any minnows. And so all you do is you take this little 16th ounce jig head and you just feed it into that tube. And then when you get it all the way up there, you poke the, the little eye through. And then I fished it on spinning tackle. Now, it just looks like it's gonna get hung a lot. I'm fishing it around brush and around trees. Well, I get out there and the great thing about it is it'll get hung every once in a while, but if you don't really jam it in there when you get hung, you just kind of keep loose tension, you pop your line a little bit, you get it unhung really easy. But I was just amazed at the number of fish I caught on this. If I went to a heavier head, if I went to an eighth ounce head, I wouldn't catch near the fish, but I stayed with a 16th ounce head and I just let that thing kind of glide down there around those brush piles in like 20 to 30 feet of water and caught more crappie than I could deal with. Caught a limit the first day, almost caught a limit the second day. We didn't have quite as long. And I'm talking about some amazing big crappie. The coolest thing about that bite is, is it's usually just a tick, one little tick. If I felt something go bup, 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 it'd be either a catfish or a white bass or a drum. But if it was one tick, I set the hook, I was gonna come up with a big old slab. There's no better eating. If you're intimidated about catching them on jigs, going crappie fishing, if you can get minnows, great. But if you're intimidated by it, get you a little tube jig made by Strike King and go catch some big crappie.